Hello and welcome to another episode of my Let's Play World of Tanks. I'm uh, gonna do something a little different here. I'm tired of playing with the IS-3 kinda stock, so I'm gonna go ahead and burn a lot of free experience to get the uh, BL-9 gun, the tracks, and the turret just to soup it all the way up. So we're gonna just go ahead, click everything, yes, 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 and burn free experience, there we go. Alright, now let's make sure I have enough money to do this. Uh, yeah, I do. So yeah, I just wanted to, uh, one to see what this beast is capable of because I was tired of uh, it being, well no, it's not mediocre, tired of it being just alright. So, BL-9 gun, good 200,000 for it and probably the ammunition as well. Yes, no, I want to drop that a bit, bring that up, that sounds about right. Alright, so. Let's give this baby a shot now that I have a great gun on it. Okay, so let's see what I can do with this thing now that I have the upgraded cannon on it and everything else. It's, uh, supposedly this turret has less armor on it than the stock one, but it also deflects more because of the slope that it's on. Man, this thing actually hauls pretty good. Now that I put the tracks on to lessen the load on the, uh, thing. I'm gonna try and snipe with this cannon, see if it's, uh, decent enough to do so. Then I'll move from there, see what, uh, see what I think of it. Now, supposedly, it's quite a bit more penetration power. About the same damage. No, a little bit more damage. Slightly, I believe. I just let that thing whiz past me, I didn't even notice. Too busy comparing. The high explosive is about the same, but the important part here is that 225 penetration. That's the key. Because I got tired of everything kind of bouncing off bigger tanks. Especially for the TRMN. The and that would only figure. I'd look away for two seconds. So I had to burn my repair kit to fix it. Oh well. It happens. That's what I get for not paying attention. But, you know, bring it. I want to see this tiger again. Come on. Poke around that corner. Let's see what happens to you. We've got them. I'll take 400 damage. Well, the reload isn't bad. It's about the same. E-75, that might pose a problem. They're hit. No, not too much. <laughs> well, I I also hit him from the side, so... Oof. As long as this KV doesn't stay in the way too long, I can probably get us some shots off. Except he's going to stay in the way. Good job. That's one thing you gotta be cautious of. If you, uh... I don't know how you could not be cautious of it, though. Moving in front of teammates, not a lot you can do about it. Now let's see if I can actually damage this thing from the front. Oh, why would I? I can just go right through the side. Or I can miss. Huh. That was anticlimactic. Wow, that artillery just tried to shoot right through the building. Of course, I'm gonna ram into him. So we're gonna replace the gunner. Must have got hit by their artillery, which is probably over in that corner. Man, I'm just losing little pieces to my tank here and there for no reason. Hmm. We seem to be overwhelmed over on that side of the board. So I'm thinking I'm going to spin around real quick. Just in case. Really haven't proven anything with this tank yet. I don't know if it's, uh... I don't know. We'll see what happens. I'm still holding out hope that this cannon's going to make a world of difference, but I mean, I gotta, gotta look at it that the fact that I was shooting at that E-75 at an angle, etc, etc, bad luck, so on and so forth. Type 59, okay. Critical hit. Enemy armor is destroyed. There we go. Actually, in my Tiger 2 the other day, I one-shotted a Type 59, it was the best thing ever. I must have ammo racked it, but I was like a mile away in the mountain valleys. So I just must have been pure luck that I was able to do it. But yeah, he was uh, he was up on top of the what do you want to call it place? Oh, what is it called? Enemy vehicle destroyed. Nice. He was up on top of the bridge. I was like down in the valley area. He just poked over the hill. I just took a wild shot at him. One shot. It did over a thousand damage. Whatever his total health was, it just all suddenly dropped to zero. I laughed. I was like, oh, well, warrior, it's what you get. But no, that's such a rarity to get those types of shots with me. I, <laughs> they seem to always happen to me, but I never seem to get them. 
So I'll just chalk that one up as luck, if nothing else. It was comical. I'll put it that way. I wish it would happen more often, but I have my uh, doubts it ever will. I can pretend, though. Oh, now I gotta spin all the way back around because we have a Spurshing. Actually, no, I'll just take the shot. Like that. Okay, yeah, yeah, I do like this turret, or this gun. I might not have penetrated as much as I would have liked it to, but wow. I think it's pretty accurate, at least. And. There we go, problem solved. <laughs> I'm just stealing all the kills. I feel so terrible. Okay, so maybe I do like the BL9. Probably a good investment of uh, all that exp or free experience. Let's get this show on the road. Some sitting here as a top tank, thinking to myself, that's a lot of freaking Type 59s on the other side. Oh, Jesus. But I mean, uh, we have two M6 big heads, which I mean is a. Uh, a very strong tank, and we're all apparently going the exact same way, so I don't know if that's a good idea or a bad idea. Well, we'll just have to push really hard. This will actually put me into a situation that I actually was kind of wanting to go for. So, lo and behold, this might actually pan out to present exactly what I wanted to, to you guys. And it's to the fact that you want to present tactical awareness, situational awareness, and very much using the mini-map. I, uh, I've recently been getting in the habit of just double checking every couple seconds, not so, oh uh, yeah, every couple, you know, 30 seconds, make sure everything looks solid on the minimap, continue on. The last thing you want to do is end up too far out of the way to be able to return to base in an emergency. I've lately gotten into the habit of being the guy to hang back just long enough that if things are starting to collapse, that we could return back to base if need be, because it has happened plenty of times where... I've been a little over that halfway point and there's no way I can get back to base, but had I gone back to base, it would have made a world of difference. So, I'm gonna ram on there. There we go. So I want to, uh, I want to make sure that I'm able to both assist the base, yeah, continue on as needed. We found all the Type 59s over here, so this is actually a good thing that we decided to come this way. Now, there's actually a very nice weak spot on the Type 59. I haven't been able to hit it myself, but on the left-hand side, if you're facing it, so the passenger side, if you're thinking of it as a car, in American terms at least, there's a toolbox that if you hit, that toolbox will explode, and it should uh, cause the tank to potentially get ammo racked and do a lot of damage. They're knocked out. So what you want to do is aim towards the passenger side of the tank, if that makes any sense. And I believe that's the correct uh, location to go for. Enemy armor is damaged. Now, as for anything else, I don't know. That's what I was told is the weak part of that tank. So that's what I'm going to probably end up going for. That Type 59 definitely got away. Um, not ready to return to base yet. Take care of this KV, then I'll deal with it. Enemy vehicle destroyed. Okay. Now I'll start returning to base because of the fact that we have a Type 59 down there. And also, we're starting to lose this flank over here. So I'm going to go take care of this Type 59 so that our team can advance. And then I'll move on out. We nailed it back. Yeah. Definitely gotta move the base. We there we go. Off. Yep, so now I'll return to base now that we have uh, a bunch of heavies heading back. Let me let everyone know. And then I'll go back. But yes, this actually exactly demonstrates the point I was trying to make. I will head back to base now that I've made it halfway, see where things are going bad over here, return to base to assist, and potentially uh, save the day, for lack of better terms. Now, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do a lot, because that's some heavy up stuff. At least I got Vaughn to come back with me, and we do have a big head sitting up here sniping, so that's a positive as well. But yeah, so... It's always very wise to be able to check your minimap as often as you can. Just turn back around, head back to base if you see that you're getting overrun. Because at this point, pushing forward would not have done us any good. I can return to base, effectively eliminate the enemy team, and then go back into their base if I need to. And this way, if I die, I die. But at least I'm doing my best to support the base instead of just dying way too far up front to be able to really help anything. Now, herein lies the problem, so I'm going to be exposed to the 
artillery while I'm back here. But, I just need to be careful of my placement, try and get around this rock, and I should be fine. So we'll hit this low. Whew, do a lot of damage to him. Alright, now we just have one other low to worry about. I'll try and get on the opposite side of this rock before worrying about firing again, so that way I'm protected from the artillery, at least for the most part. The low will still have decent shots on me, but... You now this turret is turned. I turned it just in time. There's a weak spot on the low at the very bottom of the glacial plate, right about there. I'm going to try and sneak one in. Right like that. And with that, I effectively just uh, won the game for us. Well, I, with the assistance of the rest of the team, I should say. But my returning to base certainly made all the difference in the world, as I was able to get back there, take care of the two major threats. All that's left is a tiger, which really isn't too much of a threat to anyone, especially since I have full hit points right now. Trying to get a shot in there. I don't know if I'm going to be able to see him or hit him. So I'm actually going to spin around and go this way. So if this tiger is over here. Well, where is he? Well, we do have some stuff back around here. It's debatable as to which way I should go. I don't want that easy too to go scout. I mean, we have this game wrapped up. It's just I don't want this tiger getting behind us and slowly capping away. I've had that happen plenty of times. Actually, I've had it happen where I was one of 14 people left alive. We lost like our scout. We were all the way past the halfway point on our of our bases, and we came up to a point in which we couldn't return. But lo and behold, they had one scout left that made it all the way back to our base. And he was able to cap the base before all 14 of us were able to cap his base. So, in effect, it was uh, one of those situations that are like one in a million, but it happened. So I want to make sure that I've covered every avenue here. We don't have anyone right in here in the sixth column, but it kind of happens, I guess. There's nothing we can do about that. Just go with what we can. I can't tell. Well, I'll tell Vaughn to go in the sixth column. Hopefully he gets that, so he can quickly check there. Because we don't have anyone scouting that area, and there's the tiger. Okay, never mind. I was worried that the tiger was going to be cruising in our blind spot, and he wasn't. So we should be able to get over to him, take him out pretty easily, especially since we have all our massive heavy tanks. I'm still at full health. Their SU-5 is not going to get me. Their grill is probably... I don't know where the grill is, but we'll find out eventually. Probably not going to get up there in time to do more damage, but I mean, still, I proved exactly what I wanted to in this game. It worked out exactly how I wanted to. I couldn't ask for anything better. We lost our one flank. We were able to coordinate returning back to base and preventing any further, uh, further losses. And thus, we were able to basically take the game. Because with what we have, if we lose our tanks, I will be fairly surprised because <laughs> it's a tiger that's almost dead a grill that's not going to pose much of a threat to the big heads and then uh, myself and a highly health or very stable tiger too and there we go now that was a good game okay so let's move on and do another one here so there's some requests to watch me play the uh, T29 uh, I'm going to follow you since you're a giant meat shield alright I'm going to head up uh, around north the A B column AB row rather. So I was requested to play the T29. I'm actually playing with Dirty John from WOPD. I'm gonna shadow and hope you take all the hits. You don't even have the upgraded turret yet, or the nah, L70. I, I just bought this today. Wait till you get the upgraded turret in the L70. Things just completely ridiculous. It looks silly, but the thing will penetrate uh, two tiers above it. Yeah, it just looks so bad. I'll have to get the mod that like switches it back or something. So yeah, I'm playing with Dirty John from WDOPD staff. He's actually the one of the main podcasters there. He uh, plays with us You're every like now and again. You're like a giant shark, and I'm like the little thing that cleans it. <laughs> one of the sucker fish? Yeah, that's it. Luke always tells me I'm a sucker. So I'm going to be our main battle tank here. Apparently nothing else is uh, even remotely close. We don't even have any uh, KV-3s. They have both of them. I think the KB-3s aren't really what's worrying me, it's the uh, other T-29 and those EZ-2s. EZ-2s are more annoying. Over here. 
Yep. That maybe that priest might bother me. Not too worried about. I actually was just in a game where I was uh, in my King Tiger, and I got nailed by a ooh. KB1S, that ain't good. The KB1S is easy. It's the KB3 you need to worry about. I was actually nailed by an artillery piece that was uh, several tiers below me, and he managed to kill off like half my crew and everything else. Quite comical, actually. The comical, I mean, not really. Kind of wasn't good. All right, there's a KV3 over there. I need to pay attention to. I have stuff in front of me, so I'm actually going to turn this way. Try and take out this KV3. Watch my back while I try and take care of the stuff over here. All right, I'll chill. Incoming three four. Okay, thank you. Nope, he's good. Off, really? More concerned with the T29, wherever he is. I don't see him yet. That was a second 3 4. I don't know how I just got that shot. That was delayed or lag or luck or something. Because I'm pretty sure I didn't know that he was there. KV1S coming up here. Again, I'm not worried about the 1S. Anything will penetrate that. And he's not running the big gun by the looks of it. Alright. Take care of this 3 4 real quick. Sounds good. Got him! And now uh, back to focus on the 1S. Thing getting hit by artillery. Yep, little priest hit me. It's not really doing too much damage though, so I'm not worried about him. Again, I'm worried about all that stuff back there though. I don't know what he just hit me with, but it wasn't very powerful. Wow, KV3 shot me in my face. Just stay back. Try to take out this other KV3. Okay, he's down. I'll worry about yeah, this Sherman. Down. to heal up my loader now. Huh? They shot my loader out. Hey, you be alright. Now we're kind of losing here. We might have to head back in a bit. Take care of this KB-3. Alright, I'm getting hit by something pretty massive. It's got to be the artillery. Alright. Behind us, Ooh. M4. Sorry. No worries. Slacker, you only got five kills, man. God. I'm working on it. Having to dodge their artillery this whole time, man. Yeah, no joke. Wow, that M4 shot that storm machine to the face. Yeah, I was gonna say, he did some heavy damage to that poor thing. He's outrunning yeah, me at the ready. moment. Yeah, he's getting ready to pay for it, though. Looks like that one went right through. I got that one in between the tank, too. Didn't think I was gonna get him. That was impressive. I've never seen an M4 one shot a. Stug like M that. M4 to your right. Yep, I'm gonna have to try and return to base. Yeah, let that Yacht Panzer take care of it. Oh, yeah, he's in the death lane. To your left. Our artillery should and be able to one shot both of those, but I still need to get back there for him. Four is 
behind you, but way far away. Whoa, uh -oh, here you go, got some targets. And I missed. Yeah, that T29 is gonna probably hit you in your grill. He's hurt though. Yep, I wanna take up the Stug first. He's an easier kill and he would actually be able to kill me. We've hit him hard! Almost got him, he's gotta be hurt. They're shooting your arm. Yeah, there's nothing I can do to save him. Looks like that one went right vehicle through. Destroyed. Yeah. All right, now I gotta play this one real carefully. Enemy is hit. Nice shot. Oh, need a reload. I'm good. He missed. Yeah, he missed. They're knocked out. Panzer 40. Your up. Oh, he's gone. That was a good shot by my uh. That artillery is gunning for me. Oh, that was lucky. <laughs> Gonna hang back at base. Uh, M4 to your right. The Yag Panzer's over there, monkey in with him. The theory is he shouldn't have much trouble, but. Uh, but it is the young engine four. Oh, he's got him down to ten points. You're getting ready to hit rocks. Gotcha. Got him. <laughs> Look at you, you cheese, cheese ball. Hey man, lucky shot. Yeah right. Yeah, eight kills, lucky. You sound like Steve McLaughlin. <laughs> well, it's running thing. It's okay. Whatever. I gotta stay back here in case he decides to come and cap. That Jagdpanzer is better off to run and try and take the cap. Except I think he's gonna stay put. He's coming back to base. Oh, come on! Turn around! I guess I'll go cap. Or at least I'll push well, south. Yeah, he's going now. We have all the time in the world, it's just... Yeah. This thing's got a little speed on it. Oh, I don't even have the upgraded engine. And my tracks are damaged. That Jagdpanzer can actually get up and move. Yeah, I think it's just a hunk of junk, though. You know, it's an engine block with like two steel plates on either side of it. Last thing I'd hate is for this tank to uh, get between both of us like that. There he is. Ah! I'll get him. So yeah, people wanted to see me play this tank, and apparently I'm uh, actually not doing half bad with it. I thought it'd be a different game. Yeah, it was a little bit of trickery there, a little bit of strategy. A lot of fun, though. Absolutely love this tank. And there we go, nine Good kills. Job. That is one nine heck of a record. Freak. That is one heck of a record, dude. That's pretty oh, good, man. Bro. Top Gun and Sniper, and I'll get a uh, special medal for that one. So with that, yeah. as I pull out into the lobby here, bam, bull tears again. That's going to do it for this episode. want to thank you guys for tuning in. I hope you guys saw everything you wanted to see. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them to me. I'll be more than happy to answer. As always, Twitter's in the description down below. And uh, ratings are much appreciated. And I'll catch you guys in the next episode.